Behind this gate lies the original entrance to Gold Ridge Farm, where, from 1885 to 1926, Luther Burbank, the plant wizard of his era, created many of his contributions to the plant kingdom. Luther Burbank was born in Lancaster, Massachusetts in 1849, where he developed his lifelong fascination with breeding plants at an early age. His first introduction was the Burbank potato, the very first large white-fleshed variety that was resistant to the potato blight that had recently devastated Ireland. It is now known as the Russet Burbank, the standard for baking and frying and the most widely grown potato in America. After this success, Luther Burbank felt the pull of the West and moved to Sonoma County, California, where he could garden year-round. He established his home and greenhouse in Santa Rosa, where they still stand. But he soon needed more space for his experiments. In 1885, he bought Gold Ridge Farm in nearby Sebastopol and began commuting there, often by bicycle. Here at Gold Ridge Farm, using his talents for observation and his bold original thinking, Luther Burbank had thousands of experiments going on simultaneously with fruit and nut trees, vegetables, grains, and flowers. Each year he would select the most exciting and successful of these to appear in his catalog and then offer them for sale. Fearless in what he was willing to try, Burbank worked tirelessly looking for slight variations in plants that through breeding, would eventually produce the desired result, sometimes years later. He created many of the fruits that are still widely grown today, such as the Santa Rosa plum, and many novelties, such as the spineless cactus, which caused a sensation for its potential use as food for cattle in arid lands. He was most proud of his creation of the Shasta daisy, an entirely new species. Throughout his lifetime, Luther Burbank created over 800 new varieties of plants. His influence on California agriculture, most of all, was profound. With a nation full of farmers, Burbank's creations made him a hero. As well as being a celebrity in the local Sebastopol Apple Fair, Burbank's fame spread around the world. He was visited by many of the most notable people of the day, including Helen Keller. Fellow pioneers Henry Ford and Thomas Edison became close friends, and he was the center of attention wherever he went. His legacy continues to be honored today around the world, and especially in his beloved Sonoma County, which he declared to be God's chosen place on earth as far as nature is concerned. After Burbank's death in 1926, many of the plants were sold by Stark Brothers Nursery, which leased the farm until the 50s. After that, the property languished in neglect and 12 of the acres were sold. Local historians intent on preserving Burbank's legacy in Sebastopol formed the Western Sonoma County Historical Society in 1974 and worked with the city of Sebastopol to develop the remaining three acres of the historic property. Work began with clearing the poison oak and blackberries that had overgrown the remaining Burbank plants. A barn that had been destroyed by fire was rebuilt by volunteers, faithfully replicating the original. In 1983, work began restoring the small cottage where Luther Burbank had spent many of his nights.
Volunteers lovingly brought it back to life and it was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places in 1978. Today, the cottage holds all sorts of gatherings and is, once again, the heart of the farm. As a museum, it holds and displays records of the horticultural achievements that took place here. Luther Burbank would be touched and proud to see his beloved farm today.